This video is going to be about cell junctions. So the first kind of cell junction we're going to look at is called a plasma desmata. So plasma desmata are only found in plants. And so what they're going to do is they're going to connect the cytoplasms of two neighboring cells. And so that's going to allow um, materials and cytoplasm to flow between these two compartments. And so plasma desmata will essentially connect all of the cells within a plant to kind of make it one whole continuous system. So you're going to have things moving in and out of these cells through these plasma desmata. So really similar to plasma desmata are gap junctions. So gap junctions do essentially the same thing, but in our cells. So they're going to um, connect the cytoplasm of two cells. They're going to be really important in cell signaling. And that's going to be because molecules are going to be able to move through these gap junctions to go from one cell to the next and let the next cell know what just happened in its neighboring cell and send that signal along. So this is really important in um, muscle contractions. So certain kinds of muscles um, are going to use gap junctions to communicate the electrical impulse to actually make those cells contract. Um, and so they're really important in doing things not only like that, but also with um, cell signaling. So the next one that we're going to look at uh, are tight junctions. So tight junctions are going to be um, between two cells. They're typically epithelial cells. And so when we have tight junctions, what they're really going to do is they're going to block the movement of things um, between those cells. So these are called occluding junctions. So occluding means that they're not going to let things pass through. So if we have two epithelial cells, and we have our tight junction right here. So now we've created a barrier. So on this side, the fluid is not going to be able to get past this tight junction. So you're not going to have things seeping between these cells and getting to the other side. So this is really important in things like our intestines when we don't want um, bacteria or um, we just don't want anything to pass in between our epithelial cells in a way that's not regulated. And so that's going to be the uh, biggest purpose of a tight junction. So the last structure we're going to look at is called a desmosome. So desmosome is um, it's also a, very common between epithelial cells, um, but desmosomes are going to be more flexible than tight junctions. So desmosomes are going to allow this um, epithelial layers to kind of stretch and contract a little bit. So this is, again, really important in muscle cells. So you see it a lot between muscle cells to allow those muscle cells to actually kind of pull apart and then come back together as we um, extend our muscles. And so um, desmosomes, like I said, they're not occluding. So things can go between cells that are only connected by desmosomes, um, but they are very flexible and they really help to uh, hold our muscles together uh, and still allow some mobility. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.